Since the Xerox Star, WIMP interfaces have been designed around basic object and control widgets, each typically assigned to a single system command. This paradigm is prevalent but has a number of limitations. Related tasks, like zooming and scrolling, must be done separately. Adequately previewing files often means having to fully open them. And tasks are broken up by confirmation actions, even when the user is confident in what they're doing. Some improved interactions exist, but to assist in creating more, we've developed a design framework for augmented interactions, basic GUI objects paired with additional or more expressive actions. Using our framework, novel and existing interactions can be generated and compared. Everything from double clicks to bimanual rotation and translation can be described using our framework. To test the generative power of the framework, we designed six augmented WIMP interactions for a chosen device, a pressure-sensitive mouse button. The mouse button clicks normally, but also senses a large number of pressure levels after the button is depressed. We will now demonstrate the six augmented interaction designs. An augmented scroll thumb supports both scrolling and zooming actions, facilitating document navigation in a manner similar to the ortho-zoom technique. In this case, the mouse is used to scroll normally, but applying additional pressure to the button zooms the document out. Objects, like files, folders, and web links, usually come with preview information about what the object represents, but sometimes too little information is displayed, potentially leading the user to make search errors. An augmented object preview allows the user to decide how much preview information they need. Potentially any preview information could be given, such as scalable thumbnails for pictures or audio clips for songs. Scroll buttons and zoom buttons typically have a fixed rate parameter, meaning they likely scroll too fast or too slow, depending on your preference and current task. Augmented scroll buttons give the user explicit control over scroll rate. Press lightly to go slow, press hard to go fast. Augmented back and forward buttons allow the user to traverse one or more pages by pressing harder. A small history menu is included in the widget, not to replace full history menus, but to allow users more information and expressive control from a familiar and often used widget. Actions like dragging can also be augmented, in this case allowing users to confirm an action as they make that action. Let's assume that a user has set preferences for a folder so that it will only accept files of a certain type. Here a user tries to drag a video into their songs folder, which is not allowed by their preferences. A user can override their preference by increasing pressure just as they finish their drag operation. No changing preferences and no confirmation dialog boxes. A similar augmentation involves folders with security settings and can also apply to web links or files that have been identified as potentially harmful. The lock icon appears to show the user the folder is protected. Again, increasing pressure input allows the user to perform their desired action, bypassing their security settings without altering them. Results from a qualitative study indicate users want more powerful widgets, with 9 of 10 users saying that the added functionality was desirable or very desirable. The Augmented Interactions Framework aids in the design, generation, and comparison of more powerful WIMP interactions. Using this framework, the power and expressivity of existing interactions can be increased without removing familiar functionality from WIMP interfaces.